Tom Hanks have teamed up once again for a war genre. This one's a series called Band of Brothers, and we are right now at the premiere. And if you're interested in checking it out, it's going to air on HBO starting September 9th. The excellence of Mr. Ambrose's book, it was a complete thing, what we call the HBN play, the well-made play. Uh, it was an ideal thing. HBO is, is, uh, is open to such, uh, to such enterprises, and so uh, it's, a big, it's a big nut to bite, but we did it. So you're the lead in this big war film. What's that like? Uh, very, very good. I love it. Uh, I know it's, it's great. It's kind of scary, but it's... Um, you know, to see how everyone's going to react to it, but I think uh, we're all secretly hoping that it's going to be a very strong reaction because I, th I think it's pretty amazing TV. Tom Hanks made a speech at boot camp, and he just said basically, and he said, I think he said a, lo a lot more crass words, but he said, "Don't mess this up. You know, you're you're playing real guys here, and we're telling a real story, so do it right." You know, and uh, what he what we heard was, "You better do this boot camp right, or you're going to lose your job." <laughs> Uh, but he was he was uh, serious about letting us know that he wanted that the guys came first, that the veterans came first, and, and that's how it's been, and that's how it's always going to be for this. And this was not a glamorous role. Two weeks of boot camp, nine months in the middle of nowhere, going through mud. Tell us what was it like working on this film? Hard, <laughs> not easy. Uh, we didn't have like I mean we had honey wagons, but we couldn't just like get up and go and relax. We would have to wait on the sun, on the rain, on the wind, in the mud. Um, yeah, it wasn't glamorous. It was physically difficult, it was emotionally difficult, very challenging, but um, more rewarding than any any project really you could ever do. Yes, it was the toughest thing I'd ever worked on in my life. There were days when we would stand on a muddy hill, it would rain on us, it was 6 o'clock in the morning, we don't want to go back to bed, but you simply had to go on. Yeah, it was very tough, but that's character building. I kept saying, it's amazing how they survived, some of them, and some obviously didn't. Um, I was grateful because I got to go home at the end of the day. They didn't. For them it was ongoing, and they didn't know when it was going to end. So what was it like working on this film? Awful. It was just terrible. It was the greatest experience of my life. Boot camp was one of the toughest parts of the whole thing. But it was an education, you know, and it was essential to what we were doing. People threw themselves into it. And it was, it was really good, it, it bonded the guys very well. I, I cried like a baby. But you know, nobody gave up. And everybody stuck it right to the end and you know, that's what bonded us. That's why you see the way we all are together. It, I swear to God, I had bruises on, on my little sissy hands that are used to play Nintendo and my apartment at home in New York City. And who was the biggest wimp in boot camp? <laughs> Malarkey! <laughs> Scott Grimes! Scott Grimes! He was pretty wimpy, yeah. Yeah, he was I, in my platoon. You were called the wimp of boot camp. Is it Richard Spade that called me that? Was it him? Was it? Richard! Hey! Did you call <laughs> Did you call me the wimp of boot camp? Dude, no! <laughs> did you I call me the wimp of boot camp? The wimp of boot camp. Yeah. That's crazy talk. The wimp of boot camp? Did you call never, me the she said I was the wimp, wimp of boot camp? <laughs> Maybe it's because you're wearing a skirt. Don't pan down. <laughs>